Hey guys, how's it hanging? It is Eric here, and today I'm going to be showing you my top 10 facts about Aeronaut Toy Freddy in Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery. So, I say, let's jump right in. Up at fact number 10 is that Aeronaut Toy Freddy has been released on Thursday, July 1st. 2021. So yeah, Aeronaut Toy Freddy is the first character skin to appear in July of 2021 into Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery. He's come right after the Clockwork Ballora skin during the Scream Punk event that is currently going on in the game. And now for fact number 9 is that Aeronaut Toy Freddy is Toy Freddy's third skin in Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery. In Toy Freddy's Skin Spectrum, Aeronaut Toy Freddy has appeared right after Woodland Toy Freddy from the Haunted Forest event from last year. And now for number 8 is that Aeronaut Toy Freddy is the 36th character skin to appear in Five Nights at Freddy's AR Special Delivery. In the overall skin spectrum, he's appeared right after Clockwork Ballora. And now for fact number 7 is that Aeronaut Toy Freddy has the same mechanics as original Special Delivery Toy Freddy. So yeah, regarding mechanics, nothing new here in this department. Toy Freddy's mechanics in FNAF AR is that he will wander around the environment. At random, he will spastically drain your battery power. To reframe him from doing that, you are given the Freddy mask from Five Nights 2. With that, if you put it on, the power will stop from draining. And speaking of the Freddy mask, when Toy Freddy starts to haywire, you will need to put on the mask and stay in it while staring at him during the duration to survive that particular attack. If you survive against Aeronaut Toy Freddy long enough, when he charges uncloaked, you must emit a controlled shock onto him. So yeah, no unique mechanics regarding Aeronaut Toy Freddy. NF number 6 is Aeronaut Toy Freddy charges with blue eyes. You can see this when he's charging cloaked under Anim Stealth and during a fake out. Something I found extremely interesting about Aeronaut Toy Freddy's charging mechanic is that the blue glow will disappear as soon as the Anim Stealth module has stopped taking effect. Which means, as soon as Aeronaut Toy Freddy shows himself completely during the real attack, the blue glow of his eyes will disappear. This is because Aeronaut Toy Freddy happens to be wearing goggles, and the goggles are blocking out the blue glow from our perspective. Either way, you'll have two blue eyes thrusting your way. Well, that... or goggles, I suppose. <laughs> And now for fact number 5 is, Aeronaut Toy Freddy is holding a hilariously gigantic wrench in his right hand. The reason why he possesses a wrench may be because Aeronaut Toy Freddy may dabble in engineering. After all, being an aeronaut may immerse you into learning mechanics. Similar to Freddy Frostbear and Black Eyes Freddy Frostbear, this is another character to wield something that could be used as a weapon. So, I wonder how Aeronaut Toy Freddy would attack using this. We already see him swing the wrench during his workshop animation. Hmm, I also just thought, what if this is a new brand within the Fazbear Funtime service, whereas these ones come over to fix things? No. Either way, his wrench remains present while in-game. And enough number 4 is, this version of Toy Freddy would appear to be an aeronaut. An aeronaut is basically someone who operates a hot air balloon, airship, or other flying crafts slash machines. <laughs> flying machines. No one tell old man Jenkins about this guy. I told you nothing good would come from city folk and their flying machines. <laughs> anyway, it is also unclear whether Aeronaut Toy Freddy actually does operate something like that, or if the service just dressed him up. Either way, let me know your best guesses in the comment section below. Enough number 3 is that Aeronaut Toy Freddy is wearing a brown trench coat with a brown satchel around his shoulders as well. His trench coat seems to be slightly tattered, and at the bottom of the coat, there are some serious tears. He ain't getting a refund on this one, how is he? Ugh. He also has a golden pin with a star, and the mold of the pin has wings. His satchel resides on his left shoulder, and flows down to his right hip. This whole attire actually reminds me of Indiana Jones. You know, with a brown coat and brown satchel. Let me know if you guys pick up on that, or is it just me? 
And of number two is Aeronaut Toy Freddy's body has holes in it. With this, it is exposing some of his inner body. If we take a gander closely, we'd actually notice that lower we can see some gears, and in the middle we can see a large valve. Now, there aren't just gears and valves inside his body, there are also some in other places like his hat is chock full of gears, his left goggle's outer lining is a gear, and there is a valve locking his satchel. I'd also like to mention that just about all of the gears and valves can be seen moving. I would also like to add that there are also gold buttons on his bow tie and cheeks. And speaking of his bow tie, it would actually be cool if there were like gears connecting to the uh, outside of the bow tie. So like the sides of the uh, bow tie could be seen like moving up and down. That'd actually be really cool. And now finally for fact number one, which is that Aeronaut Toy Freddy here appears vastly more skinny when compared to original Toy Freddy. So whenever Aeronaut Toy Freddy asks you if he looks fat in his outfit, it'll be impossible to answer with a yes. Anyway, this has been seen only once with another character's skin, that being Clown Springtrap. However, with that one, that one was the opposite, where he looked more fat in that outfit. I'd also like to add that there is a lot of steam coming from Aeronaut Toy Freddy's hat, so I guess you could say he's just melting away the pounds. <laughs> alright, alright. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed that video. If you did, why not leave me a like rating on the video? As you guys did really help a lot and would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Plus it does show me that you do want to see more special delivery top 10s on the channel. And otherwise, if you're new and you haven't already, why not subscribe for more Five Nights at Freddy's videos like top 10s, theories, news videos, uh, let's plays, updates, you know, that kind of cool stuff. And if you want to be first to future videos, why not set that bell down below? And again, if you are new to the channel, why not go check out past videos that I've done on the channel? As you guys, there will be playlists in the info below to help you get started. Or of course, you can uh, scroll through the video gallery and uh, yeah, just pick and choose anything that piques your interest. So yeah, if you guys have the time to check out some previous videos, I know that there will be a bunch of videos. If you've enjoyed this one, I know that you will just love. So yeah, if you guys can go check out some past stuff, I would really, really appreciate that. Thank Thank you so much. And yeah, with all that being said, I will most certainly hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay fresh.